one of America's most scenic cities and certainly the place where millions have left their heart. San Francisco, the city by the bay. Whether it's the sparkling sun off the bay itself, seagulls that sail overhead with that forlorn cry you always hear in the air. The quaint cable cars that rattle down the streets with their bells ringing. Coit Tower, the bridges, the people, the energy, or the hills that seem to climb halfway to heaven. There's only one city by the bay. And to me, the heart of the city by the bay is none other than the famous landmark of Fisherman's Wharf. Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid, and City by the Bay is the title of my brand new painting, which commemorates the beauty of San Francisco. Fisherman's Wharf at sunset. What a romantic subject to celebrate and paint. San Francisco is called the City by the Bay, and with good reason, we see the bay and the city in its most romantic here at Fisherman's Wharf. Now, I had so much fun with this painting because of all the atmosphere of sunset and the mood and the nostalgia as I turned the clock back in time to the year 1958, the year that I was born. I like to think of this painting as a self-portrait through time. We start with the banner that hangs from the nostalgic lamppost and of course my initials in the year 1958, the year of my birth. During that early phase of my life in childhood, I was fascinated by San Francisco. In fact, I created a portrait of myself in miniature as I look over the bay from the second floor of the famous Castanola's restaurant. As my life progressed, other aspects of San Francisco captured my imagination, the cable cars, which are always bustling up and down the streets. In my painting, I recreated Jefferson Street, the main scenic street of Fisherman's Wharf, to include cable cars, which to me are a lot more scenic than the old electric trolleys that actually run up and down that street. DiMaggio's restaurant was a classic San Francisco tradition on the wharf. Unfortunately, it's been gone for many years. The ubiquitous chop suey merchants and other Chinese vendors found their way to the wharf in search of tourists. Some of the classic restaurants of the wharf continue to capture people's imagination. I always like the walkaway crab cocktails that you see down there, and of course we have the crab vendor there with his steaming crab pot. All the license plates on the vehicles are favorite scriptures. If you have a friend who is curious about scripture or enjoys reading the Bible, or if you yourself enjoy scriptures like I do, please take a moment and look up these scriptures. Each of them are a foundational life scripture for me, something that I read for inspiration and strength. There are 12 hidden ends in this painting. You have to look carefully to find them. I enjoyed putting the American flags into the painting, a patriotic symbol, and I also enjoyed painting the neon signs. The various luminous colors of neon were a fun touch. In a way, I've blended time with this painting. I pick and choose some of the buildings that are still there today and blended them with historic buildings from the past. Many of my city scenes are a romantic blending of different time periods to try to capture really the essence of that particular city. I had fun including celebrities and individuals in the painting that caught my interest as I was working. I was listening to a book about World War II, a book on tape as I was working, and I included Winston Churchill making his way across the street. Nanette and I had gone recently to Amsterdam and visited the Van Gogh Museum, and I was caught up anew with the passion of Van Gogh. So of course in my San Francisco piece I paid tribute to him, and I even put him driving a vintage car up the street, as you can see in the left-hand corner of the painting. That car, by the way, is a Studebaker 1957 Golden Hawk. It was originally issued in a garish gold color, and of course I repainted it red because I love that color accent of that red in the corner. The Chinese community is a big part of San Francisco. In addition to the chop suey merchant, I included a traditional Chinese father and his daughter making their way up the street. Of course, sailors from the navies of the world often call at the port of San Francisco, and we have our sailor on shore leave 
that we see in the lower left-hand corner of the painting. Of course, street musicians are a big part of the ambience of San Francisco, and we have 50s era street musicians, perhaps with his bongos and guitar, as they are working there together, hopefully getting some coins from the passers-by. And if you want a further reference to the artist's life, on the top floor of the buildings, to the right of the painting, we see an artist at work with his model. A subtle detail, but a reminder that it all starts with the inspiration as we work in front of the easel. As the clock turns in my life and we reach the present day, I even included a portrait of myself hanging onto the side of the cable car, perhaps the cable car symbolic of the passing years. In fact, the cable car itself has the number 45 on it. That's my current age, 45 years old. What an exciting journey it has been. One last detail that might be fun to mention. When I came to San Francisco, my father always gave my brother and I a penny for the gumball machines that lined Jefferson Street. And if you look real closely beside the figures on the left of the painting, you will see a vintage gumball machine. The real star of the show is the mood, the atmosphere. I worked for hours trying to create layer upon layer of paint to suggest that luminous color of the sky at sunset. And now if we could dim the lights on the painting, you will see how the mood changes. It slowly goes from sunset to early evening and the lights grow dim, allowing the lights within the painting itself to glow all the more intensely. Now as we bring the lights back up, notice how the luminous colors of the lampposts and the lights within the buildings and the color beneath the clouds really starts to intensify as we get back up to full illumination. I've done numerous studies of San Francisco in my first series, which was called Memories of San Francisco. And of course, you'll see those scenic landmarks, each a classic view of San Francisco, California Street, Hyde Street, the Golden Gate Bridge, my first Fisherman's Wharf scene, which was a view of the marina, Union Square, Market Street, and my most recent one, Lombard Street. This painting of Fisherman's Wharf has been long requested by collectors. We anticipate that many of you will be interested in this. That is usually the case with the San Francisco paintings. I think everyone has a special place in your heart for the city by the bay. This is Thomas Kincaid, again thanking each of you as I get ready to celebrate my 20th year as a published artist. Thank you for making my dreams come true, for celebrating the beauty in this world, and most of all, for sharing the light. God bless.